all right dear students now we are going to uh, move forward in the chapter a sentence is a group of words we've already done this it should make complete sense starting this now it should have or it has a verb or an action word so you know what are verbs doing words or action words so in the blue color uh, fine in these examples vineet is a good singer why were you absent yesterday what a pleasant day it is so all these in blue are verbs or these are action words and uh, this i have already told you that must a sentence must always begin with a capital letter you can see every time you start a new sentence it is with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop question mark or an exclamation mark and it will always have a verb that is for sure now rewrite the words in proper order and make complete sentences put capital letters and full stops where required okay so these are the jumbled sentences you can say but you have to put it in proper manner so the first one is meena's handwriting is very good shruti and tia are sisters next I love reading story books. The tortoise beat the hare. Rita has won the music competition. My mother cooks very well. Next, Rahul goes for a walk every morning. And the last one is the school will reopen next week. Please try and do it yourself and then you can refer to the answers. So the next section is read the following group of words. in the garden was reading and my father these group of words do not make complete sense we can turn them into sentences by adding few words of course grandfather is walking in the garden fatima was reading the book my father is a doctor now the next question is about this use these group of words to make meaningful sentences now you have to use these word these group of words and turn them into meaningful sentences it's very easy children i want you to do on your own i'll be giving you certain examples i'll speak it out but i want you to do it on your own in your grammar notebooks okay so in the school so you can make a sentence i left my ruler in the school what is you can write what is your favorite sport my friend my friend came to my home yesterday to the market me and my mother went to the market yesterday how are you feeling today since morning my brother has been playing ludo since morning very happy i'm very happy that i will not have to sit for exams this time any sentence okay i'm just making a random thing reaches on time my teacher told me whoever reaches on time will get a reward plays with my brother always plays uh, my brother plays with me every time i ask him to do so fine so there can be many sentences you can make i have just given you a hint please do it on your own and share the picture of the page on which you have done so that i can correct you fine the next is the same thing you have to rewrite the following passage using capital letters and full stops where necessary so every time you have to start the letter the sentence with a capital letter use the punctuation marks so this is how you have to do this question on your own moving far forward now we are going to study about the kinds of sentences so the first kind is assertive or declarative so in these sentences uh, these are simple sentences they state something or which simply say something this is assertion okay like kunal is an intelligent boy fara loves to eat ice cream or ashoka was a great ruler sachin is a good batsman so these are assertive 
okay they state something or they tell you something straight away and it always ends with a full stop next are imperative sentences so imperative like for example don't talk in the class please open the door take the medicines regularly so can you children understand in all these sentences you can see that it is either a command or a request or an advice which is given to you okay so these are imperative so an imperative sentence is that which expresses a command a request or an advice for more for more examples you can consult these go out of the class so that's a command okay please pass me the sugar so that is a request you should eat healthy food to stay healthy so that's an advice so these are all imperative sentences remember imperative sentences expresses a command a request or an advice it ends with a full stop okay now interrogative sentences you know what is interrogation it is asking questions sentences which ask questions what are you doing here have you finished your breakfast and they'll always end with a question mark did you finish your homework when will you go to the market and the things to remember are an interrogative sentence asks a question it ends with a question mark now the last one is exclamatory sentence now exclamatory is expressing a strong feeling so the sentences which express some strong feelings how nice of you to have come in what a beautiful baby she is how exciting the trip was what an interesting match it was so all of these and they end with a exclamation mark so the things to remember are an exclamatory sentence expresses a strong feeling and it ends with an exclamation mark so now you have an exercise which you have to first try on your own and then i'm going to share the answers with you thank you so much all right dear students so now i'm sharing the uh, solutions with you identify the following sentences as assertive imperative interrogative or exclamatory sentences so uh, if you have to do it in your book uh, you can use these short forms a for assertive i m for imperative i n for interrogative and e for exclamatory napoleon was a great leader assertive i love reading story books assertive why are you sad interrogative what a delicious meal it was exclamatory open page number 30 of your english book imperative okay junk food is not good for health assertive how exciting the match was exclamatory what will you have tea or coffee interrogative and last one please pass me the sugar that's imperative now rearrange the words as directed and begin each with each uh, sentence with a capital letter and put the proper punctuations in the end the first one is uh, the first word of each sentence is in bold so you have a little help there the dress was how gorgeous how gorgeous was the dress exclamation mark you have to convert it into exclamatory next uh, is you have to convert it into assertive mango is my favorite fruit next in into assertive i have long hair next into imperative please give me a glass of water next into interrogative where do you stay question mark next exclamatory what an interesting book it was exclamation mark then assertive she plays basketball and hockey full stop interrogative what are you looking for question mark interrogative why are you crying question mark so this ends your question and answers and there is a good way of remembering uh, the types of sentences i make sentences assertive i request advice or order that's imperative i ask question that's interrogative sentence i express a sudden feeling exclamatory sentence so children this ends your chapter and if you have any doubt feel free to contact me thank you